mask at all in Illustrator. Okay, so a mask is when you basically do two objects with a border and you take the border of the object on top. Meaning, and you'll see what I mean, how, when you do brushes sometimes, and I think some of you have done, maybe you notice that the corner was peeking out and you could not take it out because it's a repeat, correct? How do you isolate it in the object that you want it? One way is to do a masking. So the mask is very straightforward. By the way, it's a lot less complicated than when it was in CS4, which 2008. Okay, so one second. I'm gonna use one of my artworks that I did for a client that we don't talk about, <laughs> okay? So this is actually a repeat if you wanna see it. I created all of this from scratch. So this is for men. So one way to repeat, you see that? Repeat the scale and then that's what you use the pantons for. Tell them exactly what colors you need. That's how, I'm not gonna ask you to do pantons in this one. I might ask you to do color chips Yes, colors from the prints, that's okay. No one's gonna tie, it's not Pantones. But let's just say going back to it, what happens if I wanna go back to my original file and I wanna look at the object? There's ways to do it. That's why I know when you guys using original work or not original work. So I'm gonna show you the things here. If I click on the object and I go spant and it says fill, okay, guess what happens? I can, everything's grouped, the original, and I can take it from there. This could go with anything in Illustrator. Photoshop, it does, this, this is not how it goes, this is just by layers. Photoshop is just layers only. This can also go for even spanning brushes. You can span, span brushes to look at the original repeat too. Because sometimes you might not be able to go back to the very beginning, but if you do know how to span things, you should be able to do this. So I'm gonna copy this lock because I want to. And I wanna put it on this shirt. Now, I want my sloth to be very oversized. If I put it as a repeat, it's still gonna, it's not gonna be a good idea. I want it to be very specific. I want this to be, how about, I want it to be right here on the side. But if I put in a repeat, it might be really hard for me to know the scale and all these things. What do I do? I'm gonna, I am going to mask it. It's gonna take the shape. How do I mask it? I'm gonna create the line on the round where I want it to be. This is, and it has, and it can be with no fill and no stroke. Okay, just create it on top. making sure my line is on top. If your line is at the bottom of the artwork, it's not going to work. So you now after that, I am gonna select my sloth. I'm selecting my invisible line, because it has, it's a line, but it has no stroke or fill. Select both, I put control or, do, or right click, make a clipping mask, done. That's the way that you cut things in Illustrator. Because I think some of you have seen this. The crop image, right? The issue with that is only rectangles or squares. It's not gonna be like the masking here. So the issue also, remember, one, and once again, if this is in the back, I just change it to the back. Let's just change this to the back. Let's send this line, I want you to see, put, let's put the arrange, send to the back, that invisible line, and I put my sloth to the front, make, make, put the mask. You see what happens? So they cannot do it. That's the issue with clipping mask. You need to make sure it's on top of your artwork. If not, you're not gonna be able to do it, okay? If it's on top of, now I'm changing it to the front. Bring to front. And I make a clipping mask, done. So let's just say, oh, I don't wanna cut or rasterize my, my I wanna show this detail. 
of the drawstring in my final, correct? But I don't want to rasterize this or make this really big so it can copy the whole page. I want to put it like in a little bubble. This is similar to those slides that you guys do that you put images inside those little circles or squares. You've done it. I just put the circle on top. I select both and put make clipping mask. Done. You see that? The difference is already cut away. But if I double click, you can see the object is inside there. So if I wanted to double, even make it bigger, I can do it in itself. No issue. Same thing here. If I, once I do the clipping mask, I can double click, find the original, and just change it to the slot. I can even change the parameter. If I have the parameters that I did for the mask, I can change it again. So it's not only to cut away, it's also highlighting things, and it makes it easier to scale inside. Ooh. It's easier to scale inside instead of outside than trying to do a repeat. That's why sometimes it might be easier to do a clipping mask than a repeat. Does that make sense? Because at least we can play it faster, play, play with the scale faster and where it's positioned and the layout. Okay, we're done. Uh, 